Hey, welcome to Living in Calgary. I am Rob Vinovermeer, your host. And in this video, we're gonna give you the top 10 reasons not to move to Calgary. Okay, reason number one, it's weather. Calgary does have some pretty nasty winters. I mean, I've seen minus 60 with the wind chill, no word of a lie, where you can barely go outside and start your car. Even when it's plugged in, your car barely starts. The roads are a absolute sheet of ice when it's that cold. Uh, then they put sand on it to try to deal with it. But even then, you, you can't even believe the amount of accidents we see when it gets that cold because it creates this sheer uh, ice on the roads when it gets that cold. So the weather can be so really unpredictable in Calgary in the wintertime, and you have to be willing to deal with these long winters. So I would say if you don't want that, probably not the place to come. I know absolutely everything there is to know about Calgary because I have been doing real estate in this town since 1999 and I have helped over a thousand people buy and sell houses here. I've helped people move here from other parts of Canada, other parts of the world. I've worked with probably every nationality you can think of uh, because this is a multicultural city. So I am a great resource and I hope you'll love this video. And if you do, what I want you to do is hit the subscribe button. And I, of course, you can also ring the bell and you can get notified when I do more of these videos. And if you really like the video, you can like me. Okay, the second reason you may not want to move to Calgary is that we, we don't have the best walkable city. You know, when you compare it to other major centers like Toronto, Vancouver, where you've got communities where you can just walk to everything, we don't have a lot of that in Calgary, so you're pretty well going to have to own a car. You know, in the transit system here, it's not the best. It is certainly not like you will see the GO train in Toronto, for example. That is a pretty sophisticated system. We just don't have that here. So if you don't like driving, you may not want to come to Calgary. All right, the third reason you may not want to move to Calgary is if you really like nightlife and you like to do things after work, well, we don't have a big nightlife scene here. You don't have this downtown core where there's just lots happening and things you can go and see and do. I know Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver have that. Downtown Calgary, between you and me, it's like a ghost town after six o'clock. I mean, people just end up going home and hanging out with their partners and spouses and whatnot and just kind of hang out. Don't get me wrong, there are some bars here, but it's just not the kind of nightlife that you would expect to see in a major city. Okay, reason number four you may not want to move to Calgary is the springtime when we have a lot of poplar trees in Calgary and these poplar trees produce a lot of fluff. So if you've got a lot of allergies, you're breathing all that fluff and it's like blowing around the city. You can see it's kind of ridiculous. You see all this white pollen all over the place and uh, people are running to the drugstore trying to buy Reactin and then we run out of Reactin and everybody's sneef sneezing and coughing and everything else. So if you've got a lot of allergies, this could be a problem for you in Calgary. Reason number five, you may not want to move to Calgary. Well, we get a lot of rain in the months of May and June and we get a lot of rain it brings insects, mainly mosquitoes, and I hate these things. I mean, I, I can tell you I've mowed my lawn in June and there's like this web of mosquitoes flying over my head. Or if you're taking your kids to play soccer, like you gotta just load up on the insect repellent because there's just mosquitoes everywhere. They don't really die off until late July. So you gotta have a lot of insect repellent to be here and you have to deal with these bugs. All right, reason number six, you may not wanna move to Calgary, wildlife. You gotta keep in mind, we're close to the mountains here and close to the mountains, we have bobcats, we have cougars, we have coyotes, we have moose. Uh, we have bears um, and these animals uh, can come into the city or even if you're hiking in the mountains, of course, you run the risk of coming face to face with one of these terrifying animals. So if you have pets, that can be a problem because, you know, some of these coyotes can go after your dogs. But if you're terrified of these animals, yeah, Calgary could be a problem for you for the, when it comes to that standpoint. Okay, reason number seven, you may not want to go to Calgary, headaches. I mean, these Chinooks, that drastically change the temperature and the barometer pressure is kind of crazy in this town. So I've had a lot of people that are taking headache medicine all the time for this with these massive change in temperatures. So if you deal with migraines or you do suffer from issues with massive temperature changes, this could be a problem for you. And 
Keep in mind it's so dry here too that if you don't drink a lot of water, especially in the winter, you are going to get a lot of headaches here. Okay, the eighth reason you may not want to consider moving to Calgary is the summers are short here. Now, it does stay light out until like 10, 10, 30 at night, which is crazy because we're so far north. But when the sun goes down or even when it gets cloudy, because we're close to the mountains, you tend to have to put a jacket on. So you don't really have those nice warm summer nights as much as you do in other parts of Canada where you can just hang out at 11 o'clock at night and sit in your backyard. You're gonna have to light a fire in the backyard here just to stay warm. And in the winter, it gets dark early. I mean, December, we're getting dark at about 4.30, so you have a really small amount of sunlight, and some people don't do well with that. If you really need a lot of vitamin D, this could be a problem. Might keep you away from Calgary. Okay, reason number nine, that you may not want to consider going to Calgary. In the summertime, lately, we've had a lot of fires burning in BC, and all that smoke can come into Calgary. And if you've got such a, issues with your lungs or you have trouble breathing that kind of smoke it really affects you in a negative way this could be a problem for living in calgary and i know there's a lot of people that have complained about that smoke and it uh, it doesn't last you know through the whole summer but we've had some summers here where it's gone on for over a month okay the 10th reason you may not want to consider calgary to live is for a major city in canada we're a long ways from the border like it's three hours just to get to montana and once you get to montana there's nothing there like you'd have to drive a long way just to get to any shopping so the closest place to really shop if you want to get into the United States would be to go to Vancouver and then cross over and maybe head down to Seattle so that that can be a negative if you do like to visit the US a lot on the flip side we do have an international airport so you can fly out but it's just not easy to drive out all right well thanks for watching my my Calgary Alberta channel and I hope this has been informative and remember anything you want to know about Calgary whether it's positive or whether it's negative I'm the resource for it I have know every inch of this town I have sold real estate literally in every neighborhood in this city there isn't anything about Calgary I don't know so just have to reach out to me